believe it or not, Austin and Travis County one time was rural, and it's all due to growth that it was beneficial for Austin to create its own electric utility. That was sort of the beginning in the Central Texas area. We are so surrounded by electric lights all the time. People have no conception of how dark it was just every night. In a city like Austin, if you go back 125 years, life was difficult. It was a little bit of a pioneer or frontier town. Everything was done by hand. We had all these manual chores. You had to walk to work or maybe ride a horse if you had one. And so the opportunity of electricity was that it could do some of these chores for us. It could pump the water for us. It could light the cities for us so that we could stay out after dark. So they wanted to provide electric street lighting. The famous moonlight towers were erected around the city and they spread the light over a wide area. They didn't have street lights. They had these big towers. That was our town lighting. They're very tall, probably three times as tall as a regular street light that you may see even on the road. They also have a halo effect because you wanted the light to be distributed and hopefully provide some safety for individuals who wanted to walk at night. And they won't fall because they got sturdy iron. They, they're up there for a very long time frame and even the winds are not gonna knock them down or anything else. So, uh, so they're very secure too. And they would come on roughly at dusk and at dawn they would go off. Austin stuck with the tower lights long enough that they became a nostalgic object of interest to people. They were beginning to age, the age that caught up with them. And we actually put one of our managers in charge of that project to get it completed, to put those back the way they were originally built. That process took years, five, six, seven years to complete. And they are still lit up to this day, hopefully in better shape than when they were originally built. And over the years, we started out with 31 towers, we're down to 17. They were registered as a Texas historical landmark. Now it's actually a historical piece that's being preserved. These light bulbs were not unique to Austin. They were used in cities like uh, Detroit and Fort Wayne, Indiana and other places. So it was a common thing for cities to have these moon towers. Austin was different as other cities got to better technologies. They replaced their moon towers with the newer technology and Austin didn't really quite get around to that for quite a while. And then by then we got used to the moon towers and kind of liked them. So now they're one of our features and something we celebrate. So we've adopted it as a part of our Keep Austin Weird brand. There's a new fiesta in the making as we speak. It's out at the moon town. 